avec ça, avec for this one. Internet and phone providers in the Caribbean. Hello? 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 I'm not going to lie to y'all today. This is a big topic now. Cause nothing ever working. We pay it for a service but it always pure problem. Before talking about the quality of the net, let's talk about not having any net to begin with. They just cut us just so. No warning. The only thing you will see is no signal and no bar. Sometimes you cut, it go back. Five minutes after it cut again. What it be again? Peekaboo? Sometimes I feel like we're getting robbed now. Cause they will come take your money every month on time now. And they will still charge you like the net was working the full month. No interruption. When in reality, every now and then, when you're out of your house, you gotta be begging your friends that doesn't have the same provider as you for some hot spot cause your net that you pay every month for not working you're embarrassing me in front of people sometimes it really feel like I'm 24 7 on airplane mode all this without my consent how can I pay for unlimited and I only get it limited every time worst thing again is when you call them to complain about the net or just ask for information they more vexed than you like we are not supposed to even call customer service I swear to god living on an island is special now the Caribbean is the only place where here you got signal but here you don't here you got signal but here you don't for example by my auntie place I got 4G fiber and everything full speed internet tout bagaille but by my mom I barely got 2G I can't even receive calls I don't know if it's the walls that are too thick or the service providers picking and choosing which holds they want to supply or bless talking about speed the internet so slow I can't even watch Netflix I can't even go on big people's sites not even Pictures on Facebook I can't see. All I do see is blurriness, pixels. Like you can try to squeeze your eyes as much as you want. It won't help. It won't help. To be honest, it's not a life now. When you got to watch everything in low resolution, like we in the early 2000s, watching a YouTube video in 480p, when 4K and 8K is out and available, this got me vexed. 5G pin out and I still feel like we in the 3G era. And let's not even talk about FaceTiming or video calling. Cause in certain area, it doesn't even exist. The net so cheap, it's impossible. And calling is not even better. I talking, the time my voice reach to the other person is, the person already on another topic now. And when everything is passing properly, you better not move now. If you do this, you will just set yourself for failure. I ain't going to cut to you. And let's not talk about the prices. Phone deals became so expensive that units became a currency now. Most of the people in the Caribbean don't even know what is a monthly plan now. No. All they know is top up, top up, top up. Girls back then used to not even ask niggas to bring them on dates or shopping spree or to the restaurant. No. To show that you truly care about them, you had to top up their phone anytime they ask. If you was not ready to go to the Chinese shop to put some units on their phone, you didn't like them enough. Girl, Girls used to make their boyfriend go to the store, buy a $10 top-up and make them call them to give them the code for them to receive the credit. Worst thing, making your boyfriend go to the store, buy a top-up for you to call another boy. Like when girls were on a call and they cut off cause no more units, if they were not back in the car after 5 minutes, it means they weren't all of that. Cause you mean to tell me you don't have at least one, one nigga that willing to tap you up five dollar credit? Nah, shame, shame. That's shameful. No, that's shameful. That's that's sad. No, yo, another thing. Every time they fixing a line, every time they gotta be digging up 
playing with wires, modifying something, disturbing the whole network. It always got something. And don't think Wi-Fi can save you now. Out of nowhere, Wi-Fi and net can be gone at the same time. Sometimes Wi-Fi even slower than 4G. And don't think when your Wi-Fi get cut that you can thief your neighbor Wi-Fi now. You can be sure that if Caribbean people pay for the Wi-Fi, it's not to share with the whole neighborhood. Y'all know what is the worst feeling ever? Not having 4G outside because net down, reaching home and still not having internet because Wi-Fi down too. After you wonder why people turn crazy. To finish with everything, I feel like all the service providers are trash now. Cause you can't go from this one to that one to this one and that one to the next one and that will still be trash slow unloyal and consistent i feel like it will forever be a toxic relationship between the customers and the service but to be honest, I'm glad that internet is bad here, that calls quality are not that good, that everything is getting more and more expensive. Why? Because it's pushing people to put down their phone. Go talk to people in real life, in person. And instead of watching people live their life, talk about their life through a phone, it pushes us to go out and experience life on our own. Because I ain't gonna lie, the phone is sucking all of our energy. First thing in the morning, we on our phone. Like our life is dictated by notifications, likes, TikTok, funny videos, and bunch of nonsense. We all need a social media break and a go mind your business break too. My advice would be to put down your phone and go read a damn book type of energy. Go talk to the trees and birds type of vibe. Y'all feeling me? But anyways, if you knew, you know what to do. Follow the page, we're already at 63k, the 70k is coming soon, the 100k is coming soon. If you enjoyed this video, positive reaction, if you did not enjoy this video, negative reaction, it's alright. If this video was entertaining for you, please share with others so that they can get entertained too. And let me know in the comment section, which phone provider is the worst on your island. Some people say Flow is the best, some people say Digicel is the best, I need to know for good, because they are giving me trouble. And I can talk. No, I got one SIM, job, one SIM, job, one SIM on my phone. I got three different providers all giving me problems. So I'm the expert. But anyways, I'm gone. I'll be back to you shortly.